Hi, de ho everyone, my name is Mr. Fruit and welcome to 60 Seconds, a survival game where apparently an apocalypse comes and you gotta survive in the fallout. No, this isn't fallout, I, I just said that it's 60 seconds, okay? Quit quit harassing me! Now, I don't know about you, but everything looks fine here, so we're gonna start a new game. Select the type of atomic adventure, do we want atomic drill, apocalypse, scavenge, or survival? Okay, well, I, I mean, we're supposed to survive the apocalypse, right? The full atomic experience. Scavenge around your house for supplies and then survive the post-apocalypse in your fallout shelter. <laughs> Oh, that sounds fun. Begin the adventure. Dun, dun. Uh, oh, oh my goodness. Wait, wait. What's happening? Oh, is this where we scavenge? Oh, God. Oh, uh, uh, pick up. Is this my son? How do I pick him up? How do pick, pick him up. What the fudge? Oh, I got him. I got him. Woo! Okay, yeah, there's alarms. Why can't I pick anything up here? Pick stuff up. There's something. Okay, water uh, to the shelter. Okay, looks like we drop it off here. Drop it. Drop. Okay, okay. Who's this? Oh, is this my daughter? I don't pick, pick her up. Okay, great. Uh, wife, listen. Nope, no room. Okay, sorry. Sorry, babe, you're gonna have to wait. Come on, hon. We, get, we gotta get going. You don't understand. Oh, a hatchet. Get, get in here! Ah, you're so difficult sometimes, I, I tell you, babe. Why is it so hard to pick things up? I don't know. Throw stuff in there. Go, throw it! Why are you being so difficult with me? Ah, God, I tell him. Oh, a, oh, a rifle. Give me that thing. Get, give me the rifle. Pick, pick up the rifle! What is it? What does he do? Why is he so difficult? Goodness gracious. Oh, we need soup. I need to eat, right? Uh, what else? Oh, I gotta put this. Oh my god. What? Wait a minute. It's okay. It's over. What? The end. What? Uh, I perished. <laughs> okay, we survived the apocalypse, everybody. And by survive, I mean we didn't make it. At all. All right, Mr. Fruit was clearly not cut out for the apocalypse, but never mind that. Let's do this. At least I know what I'm signing up for now. Grab everything we can find. Grab the gun. Gr grab it. See? Here we go again. Grab the gun. Grab it! Grab the gun! Got it, stupid man! Oh, I gotta wait until the sirens. Okay, that makes some sense. I guess, ooh, a med kit. I like med kits. Uh, do I need anything else here? Oh, to the shelter. To the shelter I go! Throw everything in there. Hey, babe, babe, listen, come here. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Just go on down there. Listen, I'll be there in a second, you're fine. Oh, checkers, I love checkers. Uh, some soup, some water, it looks like. Ooh, a radio, let's take that, okay. I need to listen to my tunes while I'm down under. Oh, should probably grab my son. Hey, hey, kid. Get, you're so difficult. Get over here. Okay, maybe grab a flashlight. Can I grab that? Yeah, I can. Okay, great. Okay, great. Let's throw you in there. See you, bud. Like I said, don't worry. I'm coming. It's fine. Grab, God, grab everything I can. Oh, God, my daughter. Forgot about the daughter. <laughs> grab some water. Oh, no. To the shelter, to the shelter. Come on, get in there. We don't have much time. Oh, God, I need to get in there soon, but I need food. Everyone needs food. Come on, grab the soup. Grab the soup. Okay, uh, to the shelter, to the shelter, to the shelter. Come on, come on, go, go, go. Yeah, okay. Okay, we made it to the shelter this time, everybody. Okay, so the hard part's past us, right? Day one. Oh, look, it's me. And thankfully, I got the whole family here, it looks like. All right, let's read up here. All of us made it into the shelter just a second before the blast. That was a close one. As long as we're all together, we can make it work down here. We remember hearing canned soup is healthy for you. I, I hope so, because you're going to have a lot of it, probably. When we opened the shelter door, we noticed some of the shelves were already stocked. Oh, how convenient. We can't really say we recall putting all these supplies here, but we're definitely going to put them to good use. Plus, one soup. Nice. Our shelves are full of cans. We'll eat from cans. We'll sleep on cans. We'll even talk to cans. Some of us already do. Is it him? Yeah, he looks like a guy that talks to cans. Look at that face. There's just barely enough water for everyone. We'll have to ration it strictly. Yes, we will. Ooh, a car. What is this? Time to ration supplies. Oh, okay. So it looks like this is the surviving. Oh my god. I only got two things of water? Oh boy. Okay, so who needs water <laughs> and who can go without it? Well, you guys don't really need water, right? I'll give you guys a soup. How about that? Everyone gets a soup. We all love soup. And I mean, there's a little bit of liquid in that, right? So I don't think you need water yet. So let's just go with that. We've always wanted to throw a party with a huge cake. For some reason, it never worked. One time we were promised a great cake and it turned out it was a lie. That was a disappointment. We weren't glad. We're definitely getting the cake when the radioactive clouds are gone. Cake is a lie is from Portal for those who just didn't pick that up. Oh, I'm growing. Oh, look at that five o'clock shadow. Oh yeah, you're rocking it. Right, everyone looks decently happy. Let's, let's see here. Let's check in. A relocation is probably something we'll be able to discuss after we get out of here. Mary Jane didn't cause, oh, that's her name? Mary Jane didn't cause any trouble today, and no trouble dared to cross her path. Timmy! Timmy! Hey, is on his best behavior. How long will it last? Probably not long. What are you looking at? Looking at the this book? The light? Or are you just you're just out of it, aren't you? Today was relatively calm for Dolores. Oh, that's my wife. And this morning has been calm enough for Ted, and he's doing well. Oh, I'm Ted! Nice to meet myself. Time to ration some more supplies. Okay, so nobody's thirsty yet. 
And I think you can all manage, so everyone get some more soup. There you go. Take your soup. The contamination of our town is still strong. Oh, that's not good. Scavenging in these conditions could result in radiation sickness. That's, uh-uh. Ted is happy to risk his life in the wastes. Uh, I don't know if I'm if I'm that honorable. I, I'll probably make someone else go out. Dolores is in pretty good shape. Pretty good shape doesn't cut it, Dolores. Mary Jane is more than ready to go out and scavenge. Timmy could do it. Timmy can go to the wasteland. Timmy sounds pretty eager, honestly. It's between Timmy and Mary Jane. Yeah, let's let's start preparing an expedition. Click the. Is that what to do? Okay. It's tough surviving in these conditions. Let's hope this will be over soon, or else we might end up dead in some wasteland ditch. Oh, not the ditch. That's not something we are looking forward to. No, no, not at all. Okay, so can I choose who goes out or? Wait, I thought I thought I told somebody to go out. We're trying our best to remain calm. The situation we're in is as far from normal. We might never get used to it. We hope the help comes soon. Water is what Mary Jane needs most right now. How about getting Timmy something to drink? He's not looking well. Dolores has to drink sometimes. Where's water when Ted needs it? Oh, well now everybody's thirsty, aren't ya? I thought I'd freaking left Timmy to go out and do stuff. Fine, you all get water, but no food today. How's that? Ha! We need to make a choice. Oh, for today's expedition. Okay, here we go. Which one of us is best fit to face the wasteland and survive? What to take outside? Okay, apparently we can't take anything outside. Who should go outside? Ah, <sighs> which kid do I hate the most? Uh, it's a tough choice. God, they always cause me so much problems. All right, I'm worried about Timmy. Maybe Timmy, wait, what's this? Oh, he can, wait, what? Oh, he can take a gun, a Boy Scout novel. Why can't he take more? He can take the radio, flashlight. Okay, so I'm going to give you the rifle? Uh, you know how to shoot that thing, right, Timmy? You're fine. Or should I give him the Boy Scout book? That makes sense, right? This'll, like, tell him what to do? Yeah, I don't think you're gonna run into other people out in the wasteland quite yet. Maybe not, so I'm gonna give you the Boy Scout book. Best of luck, Timmy. You'll never be forgot, and he's gone. <laughs> who's, who's Timmy? It's impressive how well Mary Jane is handling the situation. She looks fine today, that's good. Timmy went out to the wasteland. We don't know what we'll do if he doesn't come back. God, I'm praying. I know that much. He took the Boy Scout book. That's fine. Today's been fine for Dolores thus far. No new problems with traveling Ted this fine morning. Good. Everybody seems to be doing okay. All right. Well, thank the Lord. Now we have one last mouth to feed. <laughs> God, about time. I'll give everyone one soup. Oh, that's, that's convenient. Gotta ration that water. We had the most curious visitors today. One of them was making the sound of a galloping horse using a pair of rocks and hitting them against each other while his companion was pretending to ride said horse. They claimed to be on a very important quest to seek some magical cup, only they lost their way in the wasteland. They asked permission to have a quick look at our map to determine the whereabouts. Well, it appears we don't have a map to, to give them. That, that's probably for the best. I don't trust these horse riding men. It's Brokeback Mountain. Guaranteed. We couldn't contain our laughter and our guests took offense. Yeah, I, I, I'm right there with you. They ran off shouting that our ancestors were rodents. Wow. And smelled like forest fruits. That's what's wrong with fruits, man. Hmm? How rude. Exactly. It's always better when things are calm. Luckily, nothing new happened to Mary Jane today. Dolores is quite calm given the situation. There isn't much going on with Ted. No trouble. Nothing new. Hey, that's that's better than something going on, right? Well, I mean, something good would be good, but something bad would, well, be bad. So in this case, again, I think you guys are fine with just soup. Should have grabbed some more water, do we noted. The problem is simple. If we don't wash ourselves, we'll get sick. Seriously sick. It smells really bad down here and doesn't seem like it'll get any better over the next couple of days. How about we do something to fix it? Well, uh, apparently we could use bullets, which we don't have, a gas mask, which we don't have, and some sort of chemical, which coincidentally, we also don't have. I'm sorry. I I panicked. I, I sh clearly, I shouldn't have picked up my family. There's my problem. Oh my god, you guys. You guys are sick, aren't you? God freaking. Okay. What is this? Zombies? What's going on here? Ah, oh, poor Mary Jane. Dolores. Huh? The world has ended. Who cares about showering? We can get used to it. That's the spirit. Adapting shouldn't be hard. It will be like a camping trip. It will. Oh no, that, that smell is just terrible. Don't puke. Don't. Suspicious looking stains cover parts of the page. Oh, death growth. Water is what my needy daughter needs most right now. Mary Jane caught something nasty. Dolores will not last long without water. Oh, you're also there and you're also sick. Ted is really thirsty. And wouldn't you know it, he's sick too. Come on, me. I thought my immune system was better than that. Time to ration supplies. Oh, I do have a med kit. Oh, no, I only have one med kit? Okay, guys, look. Babe, I love you. You've been there for me, but listen. Also, daughter, never really liked you, but that's beside the point. Look at it this way. If I die, the whole shindig's over. We can't do anything. But if I stay alive, I can carry on in your spirit. Quit being so selfish and just take the water. As we are about to start our book club discussion on the only book we've all read... <laughs> 
<laughs> the phone book. Oh, that's my favorite. We were interrupted by rapid knocking at the door. We found out it was a group of refugees who survived the blast just like we did. Oh, hey guys. They were doing much worse than us and begged us to provide them with any water, food, or medical supplies we could spare. Oh, that's, well, let's see. We don't have med kits, we don't have water. I think we can spare soup. Let's give them a soup. Maybe they'll repay us with something. I don't, I don't know. Oh, it looks like they gave us a map. Oh, thanks guys. It's not gonna do us much good. Oh, we got some like ruined bandages right there. Some sort of a maybe rubbing alcohol. Ted's looking fine. You might get reinfected though. Look at that. Look at that. That is just a ghastly figure right there. Day seven. We've never seen anyone so touched by a simple gift. A minute later, those poor people were hugging us like there was no tomorrow. Quite possible, actually, and thanking us for the gesture. You guys are just... I'm just happy to pay it forward. They were eager to repay us, and one of their group offered us a map of the local area. They claimed it helped them get here, so brought luck upon whoever used it. We promised we will give it a try and wish them a safe journey. Mary Jane is feeling safe. Who wouldn't in this coffin size shelter? Wow, that's that got dark real quick. Dolores is doing quite well, or she just can't find anything to complain about today. Ted has recovered from a sickness. So they didn't mention the sickness. I don't know how much it's ailing them. I guess we'll find out. What I want to know is where's Timmy? It's been a few days now. I'm worried about him. Time to ration supplies. Okay, can't give you guys med kits. Sorry about that. And more soup. Who doesn't like soup? Hey! You would expect a nuclear explosion would be enough to quench any petty arguments. When the future is not looking too pretty and all you see is naked walls, not much is necessary for an explosion. It happened. We started fighting like crazy. Oh, that's not good. Don't throw Don't throw punches, Ted. You're much stronger than them. Your left hook is amazing. Well, good news is everyone's still here. At least we got this little fan going on here. Could be worse, guys. We could barely sleep after all that arguing. Let's hope that won't happen again. Yeah, come on, guys. You guys are allies, not enemies. Mary Jane seems fine today. Hopefully it will stay that way. The horse is doing quite well. Or she just can't find anything to complain about today. This morning has been calm enough for Ted, and he's doing well. Everyone is doing good. That's what I like to hear. No one's thirsty yet, so that means I'm going to give everybody soup once again. Who would have guessed the last can of soup would be a source of grief and not joy? The idea was to ration it carefully, but Dolores insists on serving the whole thing right now. Should we do it? Um, Dolores? Who gave you permission to speak up, huh? Just sit in the corner with your sick little self and be quiet, okay? I'm the man of this place. <sighs> I don't actually know what the- I don't know what the right choice is here. I'm trying to think pros, cons. Okay, pros, you get a little more food, but we won't have stuff to ration. Cons, Dolores could get all moody and be like, Ah, you hate me, bad about about what I marry you. And then like open up the can and eat her all herself. Yeah, I'm sorry, Dolores, you're not getting anything. We'll eat it tomorrow, you hear me? <gasps> Timmy! Timmy made it. Timmy, you are not looking good, bud. What happened out there? You look defeated. Please tell me something happened. Negotiations took all night, but we got to a peaceful resolution in the end. Dolores agreed to stash the soup can for later. Thank you, Dolores. Thank you for being reasonable for once in your lifetime. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just it's just these walls. God, like I said, it's just uh, driving me mad. We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and is safe with us now. Timmy! What? J j just pr when our scavenge trip was about to end with nothing, we remembered there was one place where we haven't looked yet. One place that is literally on our doorstep. Trash cans in our neighborhood. What? Why would- what? One of our pre-blast neighbors threw out a few unopened cans of soup. Ha! The joke's on him. If he's in the shelter right now, he's probably full of regrets. With a lawn like that, who wouldn't be? Plus one soup. Oh, the irony. Or maybe a paradox? Or maybe neither. A gas mask is lying in a pile of stinky garbage. Plus one gas mask. Everyone has to drink sometimes, including Mary Jane. Is there any water left? Timmy's diet needs food. It's today or never. Timmy isn't feeling very well. Timmy is really tired. Okay, Timmy is afflicted with a whole bunch of crap. So let me get this straight, Timmy. Okay? Just talk to me here. You went out in the wasteland for god knows how long, because I've lost track. What, five days? Four? Seven? Twelve? Oh, we haven't even been in that long. I don't know. But you got nothing? Really, Timmy? Next time, I'm not bringing you into the shelter. There has to be some water left. Dolores should get it. Ted is really thirsty. Okay. What? I thought we had more water. Time to ration supplies. I can't heal you guys. Oh boy, okay. We're gonna use one soup and the rest of my water, I guess, goes to Timmy. No one else gets it. Okay. Ring, ring. There we were, thinking we would never hear a telephone signal again, when suddenly, a phone starts ringing from somewhere outside. We figured it's the phone booth across the street. Should someone go answer it? Apparently, Timmy's too tired. Mary Jane, I never liked you. Or should it be the nagging wife? God, but she'll have so much sass. Mary Jane, go! You're practically dead anyway, so if you die, nothing lost, nothing gained. I'm a terrible father. Day 10. 
When we answered the phone, we could clearly hear a gasp of relief from the caller. They introduced themselves as survivors from a nearby town of Hill Valley. I hate Hill Valley citizens. We had started exchanging information when the call was cut short. No! Something must have gone wrong on their side. We hope they will get back to us. Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning to the shelter from the surface. No, that, that actually makes me quite upset because we don't have enough food for everyone. Mary Jane is feeling safe. Who wouldn't in this coffin-sized shelter? Timmy should eat something. Dolores will not survive without water any longer, and Ted looks like he's got one foot in the grave. Dang it, Ted, come on! He needs to get a drink right now. Wait, what is this yellow robot? Where'd that come from? Can't you, like, use your radio or something? Okay. Yeah, we got no water. Got Look at that. There's a little bit of water. Just, you know, get on all fours and <laughs> lap up some of that. There's no shame in the apocalypse. Okay, so Ted needs food. Who was not complaining? Um, okay, Mary Jane, you don't need food. And Dolores, you don't need food. You got it? No. I'll give Timmy some, I'll give myself some. The state of the wasteland remains unknown to us. Maybe we should risk it and go out. After all, you only live once. Ted seems to be in really good shape for a trip. Dolores might be fit enough to scavenge outside. Wasteland is no match for Mary Jane. Okay, should we start preparing an expedition for tomorrow? I guess so. I'm gonna send out Ted, I'm gonna send myself out. Oh, well here we go. It's high time we stopped wondering about what's going on and started asking questions. Or at least listen to some reasonable answers. So how about tuning to a radio station and learning a thing or two about the brave new world? Finally, God, I'm glad I grabbed that radio. Day 11. No one's dead yet, so we're doing good. We were able to get a weak signal and tap into government emergency announcement service. And guess what? Great news! The fallout outside is mostly gone. Wow, that was quick. It should be much safer to travel on the surface now. It's impressive how well Mary Jane is handling the situation. She looks fine today. Uh, I don't know which Mary Jane you're looking at, but the one here looks terrible. Timmy is very hungry. Dolores will not survive without water any longer. Ted looks like he's got one foot in the grave. He needs to get a drink right now. Uh-oh. Time to ration supplies. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> okay, looks like uh, you guys are getting the food. Should I give it to myself? No, I'll give it to the kids this time. This is a good day to go outside. Stretch a bit. Get some fresh toxic air. Maybe scavenge a thing or two. We sure could use some extra supplies. That's if we want to survive. Yeah, yeah, I sort of want to survive. All right, myself. Let's head out there and uh, I don't need a... I'm, I'm a freaking Eagle Scout. I don't need none of that nonsense. I'm going to take a gun. Wait a minute, do I have any ammo for it? I don't think I have any ammo for the gun. Maybe it could threaten people? <laughs> like, uh, back away, back away. Do you have any ammo? Uh, you want, you feeling lucky, punk? That's, that's my reasoning. Seems pretty flawless. Day 12. Oh no, Dolores. Oh god. Oh my god, that's, that happened so quick. I know, love her separated. As soon as I left, she just couldn't bear with it any longer. Poor kid just had to watch her mom die. Oh man, she is, yeesh. If we only had a few drops of water, we could have avoided what happened. <laughs> Dolores died of dehydration last night. <laughs> Mary Jane is very thirsty and has to drink something. Timmy is very hungry. We can't leave Timmy without water for too long. Ted left for the surface. We hope he'll be back soon with an empty gun. Time to ration supplies. Oh, yeah. Look at all the stuff we have to ration. Yeah, kids, you're just going to have to suck it up. As long as we have food and water, we can stay locked in. Oh wait, we don't have any food or water, but we'll have to leave eventually. It would be good to head straight to safety instead of getting ourselves into more trouble, if that's even possible in the situation. Our hope is that our brave soldiers will come to rescue us and take us to some well-hidden, well-stacked government shelter, stocked whatever. Timmy had comics about those, so you know they must exist. All we need to do is make some contact with the military, use that radio again, boom! That was a nice choice grabbing it, Mr. Fruit. <laughs> Okay, well, they're still alive. We knew it! The government has not fallen, and they're coming to save us. They didn't give exact dates in their radio transmission, but we're sure they won't keep us waiting too long. Yeah, sure, that's what they'll say. They said they will be in touch a couple of days and told us to wait for their instructions. Small problem. I don't think we can wait a few days. Mary Jane keeps fainting. We really need to find her something to drink. Fast. Timmy's in terrible shape. We need to give him water. Now. Guys, I would... But I can't. I can't do it. Oh, oh god. Oh god. Oh, I missed it. Oh god, what did I just do? Okay, I clicked it too fast, and we just missed something probably important. Mary Jane was knocked out when the fighting moved into the shelter. Wait, you guys fought somebody? Whoa, was it like a bear? It was probably other scavengers. Yeah, but it would be a way more cooler story if it was a bear. Yeah, I fought a bear. The bear lost. She says all she had is a little headache, but we should keep an eye on her. Mary Jane keeps fainting. We really need to find her something to drink fast. Mary Jane was injured. Timmy's in terrible shape. We need to give him water now. God, guys, I would. I would, but I can't. Today, during breakfast, we were startled when our map slid off the wall. Ooh, that's spooky. We checked the nails holding it, but they were all firmly in place. It could be a poltergeist. Maybe we need to perform an exorcism to get rid of it. Ah, oh, that's, that's a logical step of processing. I like it. Anyway, in the wall behind the map was discovered some sort of a safe. Wait, the map wasn't even there all along. If there was a, if there was a, 
What? That's even, oh, whatever. You guys are oblivious. We're curious as to what treasure might be inside. Should we open it? Well, considering we have nothing to do besides open it. I, we don't even have food. I'm going to say yes. Let's just hope we open it. No, no, it's the, wait, wait, it's the end. Is this, uh, this can't be a good thing. This does not look like a good thing. Can I open the hatch? We're not sure how or why the map just decided to slide off the wall, but we're lucky that it happened. Inside the dusty safe, we found some supplies. Hey, a little too late. We found the door locked. We tried to get in. We knocked. We yelled. We heard nothing back. Someone or something is inside our home and it ain't our home anymore. Time to move on. When Mary Jane found out she's not getting a single drop of water, she got furious. She stormed out into the wasteland, shouting over her shoulder that we'll regret this and she's getting the water one way or another. We are seriously terrified right now. Lack of water drove Timmy insane. He opened the shelter door and ran away without looking back. He's not likely to return. We survived for 18 days. Hey, let's see. Oh, here are all of our days recounting what happened. Oh, so it skipped. Okay, so apparently from day 14, to 18, it's just skipped four days. So what exactly happened to Ted though? Where am I? I could still be alive. You were driven away, no. We didn't make it, I'm sorry. Don't worry family, I'll avenge you. The apocalypse only comes around once or twice or depending on how many times you do a new game.